Hey, I'm Becca with the Happy Ever Crafter, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do modern calligraphy with nothing but a pencil. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating using, obviously, a pencil. This is my favorite pencil. It's called a Palomino Blackwing, um, and it's like a little bit more of an expensive, high-quality pencil with a nice eraser on the end and the eraser is replaceable, which is really nice. Um, but I just really like the feel of this pencil, but you can literally use any pencil that you have lying around at home. What you wanna keep in mind with these is that the higher the number on the end of this pencil, like for example here, it says 3B, the higher the number beside the B, the softer the lead is. So 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, um, the higher up it gets, the softer that lead is, which means that you'll be able to see a bigger differentiation between when you're pressing light and when you're pressing hard. And we're going to get into that in a minute. But usually with anything with a B is really, is really a good lead to use if you're trying to do calligraphy with pencil. If you're using a pencil that has an H, it's the opposite. So H means hard and that will be a little bit harder for you to see the difference. You can still do it, it just won't be quite as obvious when you press light and hard on that one. I'm also using Rhodia paper, which is just a really high quality type of paper. Um, I have a lot of this kicking around, but because you're using a pencil, it's not a huge deal what kind of paper you use. Um, of course, if you're using higher quality tools other than a pencil, um, smooth, high quality paper like Rhodia is really good. But like I said, we're just using a pencil today, so any paper will do. My suggestion is just that you use a paper that has a guideline on it, so a grid or a dot pad or anything like that. So the main thing you need to understand when it comes to calligraphy is that anywhere your pencil is moving in an upwards direction is gonna be a light line. So up means light. And anywhere your pencil is moving in a downwards direction is gonna be a heavier line. So down means heavy. So if you were to combine those two, you would have light up and hard down. And so that's really the basis of any calligraphy strokes where you see a lighter line or a harder line or even a, a thinner line and a thicker line. All that comes down to is where your pencil is moving up versus where your pencil is moving down. So that, if you don't remember anything else, is the most important thing you could get out of this video. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do with your pencil is just get used to how light and how thick you can make those lines. So do a couple lines from the bottom up to the top, nice and slow and nice and light. And generally these upstrokes, they're called, would be sort of curved, but not like an aggressive curve, just a slight curve from the baseline to the waistline. So nice and slow, consistent and light all the way up to the top. Next, you're gonna do the opposite. So now you're gonna start from the top to the bottom, which means you're gonna go heavy and you're gonna do some straight lines with heavy pressure down to the bottom. Same thing, nice and slow. These ones are not curved, these would just be straight lines. Slightly angled. So these would be known as your upstrokes and these would be known as your downstrokes. Now at this point you might feel like you need to sharpen your pencil. It's up to you if you want to do that, if you prefer to have a really sharp pencil all the time. I actually like mine sort of dulled for calligraphy because you get those thicker downstrokes that way, but it's totally up to you. Now we've established how thin our upstrokes should be and how thick our downstrokes should be. And so now we can apply that to some letters. So you'll notice in this first word, I'm gonna write the word Monday. And you're gonna notice in this word that anywhere my pencil is moving in a downwards direction is thick and anywhere it's moving in an upwards direction is thin.
Okay, so in this word now, you can really see the difference between where I was pressing hard and where I was pressing light. And that gives you the illusion of calligraphy, even though you're just using a pencil. You can apply this technique, the light up and hard down to any writing at all. So even if you were writing in capital letters, for example, if I was to write the letter A, I would be moving light up here and then hard down here and then light on the horizontal or the letter E, for example, hard down and then light on the horizontals or M, I would move up light, hard down, up light, hard down. This can apply to any writing at all, which means that it can also apply to your regular cursive writing. So if you were just writing in cursive and you wrote the word hello, for example, then you would have light ups and hard downs. And what I wanna point out though, is that your cursive is totally different from your calligraphy. So you'll notice in calligraphy that I did this in little pieces. So I was lifting my pencil in between each of these strokes they're called. And that's because calligraphy is broken down into basic strokes. So if I was to write hello in my calligraphy strokes, it would actually look Notice that you'll see me lifting my pencil in between each piece, as opposed to when I wrote it in cursive. I wrote it all in one swoop. So this looks quite different than this, and you can clearly see that there's a difference between cursive and calligraphy. Now, you might have watched that video and completely understood the concepts and tried it yourself, but thought, okay, my handwriting still doesn't look as nice as that. So there's one thing that I didn't cover in this video, and that is the calligraphy basic strokes, and that's where the actual calligraphy skills are gonna come into play and improve the look of your writing by a million percent. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that, make sure to check out this video and I'll see you next time.